What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shed, Sariat, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 50K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. You worked very hard to get there. I can imagine that part of your mind isn't in Japan because uh, something's happened. Happening at home. Tell me about that. Yeah, you know, uh, it was something, as you say, um, arriving in Japan is something that you work hard though for the whole year to just to be able to make that plane, knowing that you're going to a World Cup uh, to play for South Africa. Um, yes, uh, when we arrived, obviously, it was, I think, two weeks before the World Cup actually started. And uh, yes, um, it, was, it was tough because I think. I was thinking at that time, okay, I am here, but uh, at home there is actually something happening. And uh, my mind was also a little bit, as you say, not there, but still there, but not there. And thinking of, okay, well, we still we still have to play a warm up game, and there's a week, and then after that we can we're gonna start with the with with the World Cup. So it was it was a bit tough for me to be to try and juggle that and uh, try and make sure that everything is good at home and yet still apply my mind. Uh, to 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 the task that we 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 actually in Japan for, so uh, it was because obviously at that time I'm also trying to to find out with the coaches whether I can actually go home and uh, see the birth of my daughter and uh, yet I still need to be here with the team. So it was it was a difficult one, but fortunately the coaches were very understanding and understood that uh, as I always say that's a bit bigger than rugby if you look at it. That's a moment of silence, man. That's beautiful for the coaches and the gentlemen to be able to go home and. Yeah. Handling his business like that, coaches aren't allow, allowing that. That's that's big, man. Yeah. Uh, that's my first daughter coming to life. I oh, I really need daughter. to be there. So uh, yeah, fortunately they understood that part, and uh, I could fly back, even though it was for a few days. But uh, just to be able to see my my daughter being born and uh, and all that was was really was really something else or something special. I don't think I can I would wanna substitute that for anything. It mm -hmm. was it was it was massive for me. But uh, with that said, and when I came back, I didn't want to go back as well. But obviously, once I got back on the plane again, then I realized, okay, you know what, Trevor? You have your daughter at home. You, you, you saw her being born and all that. But uh, there's also a task that you, you, you need to go take her on in, in Japan. And uh, it, it, played, uh, it, played, it played with my mind a bit. As, you know what, like asking myself, is this where you need to be or is it the other side? But uh, at the end of the day, both things have their own importance in, 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 in life for me. And uh, I look at it in this way as well. For my daughter to be, to, to live a comfortable life as well, I need to make some other sacrifices. And in my, in my, in my shoes, it's, it is that rugby. So I needed to, to, to bring myself down and to understand that, yes, it's harsh you leaving, but uh, you need to go work for her to have, uh, to have a good life. So it played a big role in my mind, there but uh, fortunately I managed I managed to deal with it in a in a way, and uh, so it was a tough one. But fortunately, my wife forgave me for that, so we are good now. <laughs> Great. Yes, because I remember our first baby. You almost missed it. You gotta understand what's what's happening. You gotta understand what's happening to a man when he gets to witness his child being born, compared to what a woman go through when she gets to carry the child. Mm -hmm. Throughout that whole, you know, time. Most of the time, men already don't have it on their head that they gotta work, gotta get things done, take care of the home, take care of the, you know, the wife, and she's nesting. Boom. So he's not really in the feels of what you're feeling whenever you're having and carrying right. the baby, and going through the symptoms. But when it's time to have the baby and he get to hold the baby, you heard he said it was hard for me to let go and go back. Mm -hmm. But I understand my task and yeah, bro. Like when you got two important jobs and you gotta be in one time. Oh, that's tough. That is tough. That's tough. Listen, Dion didn't have no sleep. I wish it was like you you had a couple days off, but the mm. first baby, nah, we was in a solo different yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> different. Um, so you just, I just want you to uh, contextualize, so just give me a, a five second answer. Um, just say um, that, you know, you got to, to Japan, but my wife was pregnant at home. I didn't have that in Oh, okay. So we won't know what you're talking about. So. All right. Um, so just a quick five to 10 second answer. Um, well, what was happening in South Africa and your family when you landed in Japan? Oh, yeah. Um, um, I was yeah, the, obviously definitely <laughs> on the plane. I was in Japan, uh, but uh, obviously there was a bigger thing. My wife was pregnant with my with my firstborn. 
child, my daughter. So uh, that's what was playing on my mind that at home, my wife uh, will probably be sitting in the hospital very soon because of my daughter that's being born. But uh, I had to do what I needed to do to be, to be in Japan and, and try to represent. Thank you. Um, uh, cool, then come... Sorry, the, the questions kind of follow the script, so sometimes they jump around and we'll just, 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 give, me a, just give me a second. Um, okay, so... I just need to move, so I need to move this question out. So I'm curious, did they not um, did they not think to maybe just keep you in South Africa and you could come when the All Blacks game was or I mean what kind of this, what kind of options were you thinking about? Yeah, the the thing is with the with the with the thinking of whether I should stay at home or go to Japan at the time, um, was obviously we had just won we had just won the rugby championship and I had <coughs> played a game after that and we were back here doing a bit of preparation. And going back, obviously going to to go play that game as a warm up game. I think the the options were kind of limited in a way of we needed we needed uh, obviously to give to give ourselves that final run and try to climatize because it was it's a bit different than Japan. It's a bit hot and it's humid and all that. So we 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 tried to just get there and climatize and all that. And for for the week before before the All Blacks game, the obviously. Um, World Rugby has a few rules, there's a few things we needed to attend for you to be able to play and I needed to get back, I think it was the Sunday, I needed to be there at a certain time or else I wouldn't be able to play the first game, I would have to oh, go wow. through that, that uh, I think it was the doping stuff and batting stuff, you needed to attend that, if you don't attend it then you can't actually play in a World Cup. Mm. You'll have to wait a week or so after that and would have to travel to different places to go and attend those things. So I think uh, that played a big role in them not just saying like, okay, Trevor, you just stay. And once everything is sorted back here at home, you can come back. Because uh, if, if wow. I hadn't gone to that, the, to that meeting, I wasn't going to be able to, to, to play the, the, the next game. So uh, I think that played a big, a big, uh, big part of it. And... Uh, we had to understand that that it's something that needs to be done, or else uh, things wouldn't go the way we want them to go. Mm, 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 mm. Highly interesting facts, bro. For one, they let him go back to see his to have the witness of his daughter being born. I thought that was mad beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, support. Shout out to that. For two, he knew that he had to be back, but it's not just him coming back as he pleased. He on time. Right. Had he missed that time, he wouldn't have been able to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would it, defeat the whole purpose of him being selected. Yeah, exactly. You know, Ooh. we always talk about the sacrifices of a mother, but what about the sacrifices of a father? Talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Real talk. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this was good to get to know him a little bit better, although yeah. this was the documentary for the other World Cup. It was good to get to know him. No, I appreciate it because you get to hear these stories. Like, you, we're looking at players who are mm -hmm. killing it in the field, you know, mm -hmm. on the field. And then when you get to hear these stories behind them, it's like, yo, it's like, y'all have real moments yes that help you know capitalize who you are on the field because i know that was motivating for him to want to go mm -hmm. back and kill it you know yeah. so that's tight yeah um i like documentaries like this because it helps humanize the stars mm. you know yeah. you don't yeah. just look at them like man he should have got it he should did this he should you don't know what he playing for right all okay? what he all what he going through right yeah take that Big old cap off his head, bro. Mm -hmm. He's human. He's just like you. He just had a lot of work ethic to get what he got to get. Right. Opportunity was that he took it. Right. Different life path. All That's right. All. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.